Hey there, fellow trucking friends. It's Whip It Up Wednesday. We have some whipping up to do. Yes, we do. So give me one second. I'm just getting your comments up and we will get to chalking quickly because we have a super, super cute and adorable little project tonight that I have been wanting to make. I'm almost there, so give me one second. Okay, I think we're there. I hope we're there. Holy cow, Whew. it's a lot of pushing buttons. I'm trying to get better at this, but I'm just not quite there yet. <laughs> Slowly, but surely. All right, so anyways, let's stop looking at that crazy thing. Whew. Holy cow, thank you, I'm sorry. See, I'm still not there. I try to make it so that, you know, I look all professional here when I hit that live button and yeah, I should give it up, right? <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Oh my gosh, everybody's here. Holy cow. Okay, now I don't know. Which, I got too many places to look. We've, hey, Mary. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Linda, Linda. Terry and Cheryl are here. Welcome to our talking party, ladies. All right, I'm going to get rid of, I got too many places to look, so I'm going to focus on what we're doing. So I'm making Maria. I'm your independent truck couture designer and welcome, welcome to my live demonstration of how to use this crazy simple, crazy easy, crazy fun product called Chalk Couture. Chalk Couture is a fantastic company that makes adhesive silkscreen transfers that we can use to create over and over again and make beautiful things, which is what we do here every night, Monday through Friday, sometimes Sundays, sometimes Saturdays, Kind of depends, but definitely Mondays through Fridays. And today is Whip It Up Wednesday. Hello there, Kathy. Welcome to our chalking party. If you guys could send my video out into the world, I would greatly appreciate it. It helps me tremendously when you do that. So thank you, thank you to all of you who push that button. And tomorrow is Thankful Thursday. Um, and on Thankful Thursday, what we do is when we make a project and we send it out into the Facebook world by hitting that button 10 times, then I give something away to anybody that uh, participates in a game that we play. So always appreciate it. And I'm so thankful to all of you that take your time out every nine o'clock central standard time to hang out with me and watch me do a quick little demo on how to use this amazing product. So what the heck is Chuck Couture, right? Cause I talk about it all the time and some of you are new to us this evening. So let me tell you what it is. Chalk Couture is a company that is chalking the halls, walls, accents, and accessories of homes all across America and Canada. We've recently launched in Canada. We were created to be designed, loved, and repeated for every season and any reason. We bring easy, high-end DIY home decor directly to you. And we do that by offering reusable adhesive silk screen transfers, which we're going to use tonight. Chalkology paste, which is semi-permanent when dry. Couture ink, which is permanent when heat set, beautiful surfaces to create on, accessories to use to create with, and it is truly, truly, truly an easy, stress-free crafting experience that you will love. You do not have to be crafty. You do not have to be artistic. Anybody can do this and get beautiful, beautiful results. So tonight, we're actually continuing a project that we started the other day because I'm starting to do um, in-home workshops. So let me show you what we're making here. Let me get the right buttons pushed. So the last time we were together, we made this, let me get rid of that. We made this super cute sign that says, home is my happy place. And it took us all of about oh, five minutes. Hey Lynn, oh, you loved the hedgehog. Yes, we made our cute little hedgehog guy last night. This was our project last night. Thank you Lynn for teeing me up so well. This is our monthly subscription service, which is a club couture project. Um, it's a monthly subscription where you get a transfer sent to you every month with paste packets and it's like a no-brainer. You just get this beautiful package in the mail, makes some fun things to make and this was our, this is August and it was this super cute looking sharp hedgehog. He was adorable. But I digress. So last time we made this really cute little home is my happy place and this is chalk. It's not gonna go anywhere. I can rub it, rub it, rub it. Um, it's not like kid chalk, so it's a little bit different, um, but it works in a paste with a squeegee, which you're going to see here in a minute. It can, however, be removed. 
So you can wash it off if you choose to. Now I can spray water on this and it's not gonna go anywhere unless I wash it. Um, the rubbing is what takes it off. So don't worry about it, the fact that it's semi-permanent. I mean, this is not going to go anywhere unless you want it to. But this is our 10 inch boutique board, which is a square board. It has two little holes up on the top and it is reversible. You can chalk on both sides. So tonight, we're going to chalk on this side so that you can see the versatility of this very inexpensive, this is a $10 chalkboard, $9.99 to be exact. Um, it's a very nice little chalkboard. It's 10 inches. It's not a big, huge, you know, piece that you're committed to. This ginormous chalkboard in your house is just a nice little size. It's conveniently placed on a, a shelf, on a wall, on a door a doorknob. Pretty versatile. And you can put him anywhere. Now, obviously, floof, floof off his bow if you're going to put him that way, right? Um, but he's really cute. So tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to chalk on this side, and we are going to chalk house plus love equals home. The reason that I'm doing both sides is because this is one of the projects that you can make for an in-house workshop. So I'm trying to show both examples. So you guys are kind of helping me out here a little tonight so that I can um, show you guys what all you can do. So in-home workshops are things where I come to your home and you get some girlfriends or friends, so I don't have to be girls, you can get friends together. Guys like to chalk just as much as girls do. Um, you can get friends together and I come to your home and we create projects. That's one way to do it. The other way to do it, especially if you're not local to me and you don't feel like cleaning your house, is we can do them virtually <laughs> where you get your friends together and I send everybody their little package to their home, not your home, their home, <laughs> and then you can sit in your pajamas <laughs> and chalk with each other and nobody has to see that I sleep in my sweatpants, right? And I can uh, not clean my house and I can just be relaxed. So you can chalk with people, literally, virtually. Um, so it, there's two ways to do a workshop and I am booking workshops for the fall. So if you want one, I have a few dates and you're going to want to get to me quickly. But this, we're gonna, um, this is our general home decor piece. We are going to do some holiday ones as well. But we are, hey Janine, welcome to our chalking party. We are going to very quickly make this guy, if I could find my white, I pick every color but white here. You would think white would be easy. So this is what Chalkology paste looks like. And mine are super messy because lots of people use them in classes, but ignore that. So this is Chalkology paste. It, um, when you open up your container, it looks like paint, but it's not paint and it's a completely different consistency than paint. It's chalk. So you're gonna open up your chalk paste and you're going to stir it. You want it to be a yogurt, sour cream-like consistency. If it's not, which this one's a little tiny bit dry, you're gonna take a spray bottle of water and you're just gonna add a little bit of water to it. And then you're gonna stir it. You don't need a lot of water, you just need a little bit. So you're gonna stir it up and like magic, it becomes the right consistency. So again, you want it to be yogurt, sour cream like. So I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna now prepare my transfer. I have my surface already. There's absolutely nothing I need to do to my surface. It comes this way. Um, in fact, I'm gonna show you here with the next project that we're gonna do, which is a Halloween and a Thanksgiving one on the double sided. It comes with a piece of twine that you can put through the holes to hang it. Um, but all you do is take the plastic off. You might wanna wipe it off in case there's dust on it, but because there's plastic, there's no dust. Um, and you're ready to go. So our surface is ready, our chalk is ready. I am going to hold my, or put my lid over my paste container just so it doesn't dry out while I am continuing to get this ready. I take my transfer. Now, the teal part is the sticky part and the white part when I pull it up, you'll see is the silk screen. So anything that's white when it's down like this is going to be chalk. Anything that's teal will be the color of your surface. So um, the black and the white are super contrasting and they look amazing, amazing together. So the first thing I'm gonna do to my transfer to prepare it is I'm going to flip it over and I am going to write the name of my transfer, house, plus love equals home. 
And I do that for two reasons. I do that because number one, I need to know which side of my backer sheet is the back of it. Because as you'll notice when I take it off of here, there's two very distinct sides to my backer sheet. One is shiny and one is dull. I'm going to store my transfer on this backer sheet when I'm all done with it because I can reuse it. So I can make this particular project over and over and over again. And because I'm going to reuse it, I wanna make sure that I get it back on the correct side of my backer sheet. That way I'm gonna store it right back in this plastic container that I took it out of. There's a little flap on my plastic container. I'm gonna slide it back in here when I'm done. Close up my flap. I can hang them, I can lay them flat. Um, and it's good to go until the next time I'm going to use it. The other nice thing about this plastic container is on the back of it, it has step-by-step -step instructions. So when you get this in the mail and you say, what the heck did she say I was supposed to do? Yep, it's all right here. Or you message me and I'll help you through it. <laughs> Either way. Um, but the instructions are right on the back. So you do want to keep your plastic. Don't cut your plastic. I mean, you can cut it. It's not the end of the world, but it won't hang if you cut it because you'll cut the hanger off. So anything that's white will be chalk. Anything that's teal is the silk or the adhesive. So I've written the name of my transfer on the back. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my backer sheet. And how I remove my backer sheet is I place my transfer face down. And I pull the backer sheet off of my transfer. I don't remove it the opposite way. I don't have it face up and pull it this way. If I do it this way, I'm more likely that my adhesive part of my transfer is going to stick to itself. And if that happens, it can be challenging to pull apart and you can put holes in your transfer. So the easiest way I have found is to lay it face down and pull your backer sheet gently off. Now I take my backer sheet and I just set it aside because when I'm all done and I wash my transfer, as you notice, it's super sticky. After I wash it with just plain old water, no soap or anything, I just wash it, I put it right back on my backer sheet, slide it in that plastic, and it's good to go for the next time. Now this, you'll notice, is sticky, very sticky. It's a brand new transfer, it's never been used. So the first thing I want to do is a step called fuzzing, and I'm realizing I took all my towels upstairs to wash. <laughs> So we're going to use a towel that we inked the other day because this will have lots of us. Look at the pretty towel I made in a class I had the other day. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a towel, a t-shirt, a sweater, a bathrobe, blue jeans, anything that would have lint on it. And I'm going to do a step called fuzzing. And all fuzzing is is taking a towel, sticking it to your transfer so that your transfer sticks to it. Okay and pulling up my transfer. Now what I'm doing by fuzzing is some of the lint from my towel is getting on my transfer. And by getting on my transfer, it softens my adhesive so it's not quite as sticky as it was. So I have a little less hard pulling to do to get it off of my surface. So I just need to fuzz it a couple times and I'm gonna place it right on my going to line it up. So when I'm lining it up, I'm going bottom to top, side to side, and this particular transfer has a ton of silk screen to it. A ton of silk screen. You can see, see how you see how you can see my silk screen move? And I always say it looks iridescent. This is what I mean by that. That's air. I need to get that out. Um, because otherwise, I'm not going to get a smooth chalk and I'm going to get a bleed. So how I do that, when I put my transfer down, I start in the middle with my hands and I just go out. That's all I do. Start in the middle and go out and I'm slowly working my air out. You don't want the air because as you squeegee across your silk screen, you will uh, have that air push the chalk underneath. So I just can, and I can see that iridescent air bubble. So now when I look at it, those bubbles are gone. There's no bubbles. I do, however, have some interesting lines from my transfer. 
So I'm going to pull those up. They're actually probably lint from my towel. And because they're in my silk screen, they are going to cause a barrier. So we'll see how that chalks when it's done. Okay, so I've got all my air out. Nope, now I put air back in. And sometimes you just have to pick up the corner and push that air out. A lot of silk screen. So for this particular project, I'm going to pick my squeegee next. Okay? And lots of silk screen. So you have a couple of choices in the squeegee world. We have a mini squeegee. We have a multi-purpose tool. We have a small squeegee. We have an, oops, a very dirty, don't look at the dirty part. <laughs> we have a dirty angled squeegee. And we have the big boy, which is a four inch angled squeegee, is its, or handled squeegee is its technical name. I personally like to call it the big boy because he comes out for big projects and I happen to love him because he makes very light work of a, a project. But these are your choices in the squeegee world. Now this little guy is too little, so he gets not for this project. Mini squeegee, you could do it. It's just gonna take you longer. Um, so if you only have a mini squeegee, you could totally use it on this project, but not highly recommended for this one. Small squeegee would totally work. Angled squeegee would work awesome. This is one of my absolute favorite squeegees, but I don't use it very often and I can see air. I gotta work on air. Either one of these would make a very nice option However, this guy, <laughs> Woo! two swipes and we're going to be done. So we're going to use the big boy just because I happen to like him and he doesn't get to come out to play very often. He only usually gets to come out to play when we're doing a big project. I still have air, so I'm just working it out. So you just keep pushing to get that air out. And you can tell when it's there. Okay. So now I'm just pushing down all my little letters to make sure that they're stuck down so that when I get to squeegeeing, I have a good seal. Okay, so I'm gonna take my chalk, I'm gonna stir it up, and I am going to just literally blob it on. Dab, as Carol and I like to say, we're gonna dab it on. Because it's sour cream, right? And if you've ever done a dollop of Daisy, a dollop, that's the word, we're gonna dollop it. I'm going to dollop with Daisy. <laughs> We're crazy. All right, so I take my squeegee. has an angle. It's, it's already made to go at the right angle. And you literally just go across. Now, you could totally not use this particular squeegee. And all I'm doing is making sure that I've covered up my silk screen. This guy makes very light work of big projects like this that have a lot of silk screen. And what's nice about it is he doesn't leave a lot of lines behind. So if you find you're using a small squeegee or a mini squeegee, you can totally use them. They just leave more lines because the squeegee is smaller. It's kind of like when you shovel your driveway, right? The bigger your shovel, for those of us in Wisconsin, yes, I know you Texas and California people that are watching us, <laughs> that watch me every night, you don't have this problem of shoveling. But for those of us who have to shovel our driveway, we understand that when you go back and forth on your driveway with the shovel, the bigger the shovel, the easier, the less lines you have to go back. Okay, so I just squeegee my chalk on. Now I have chalk left over, and I just literally go zoop, and I put it right back in my container. I take my squeegee, and I use a wipe. You can use a paper towel, a regular towel because it washes off, and you just wipe it off. Now I'm ready to pull my transfer off. When you pull your transfer, it's fabric. So you want to be very careful when you take your transfer off. So you start it in the corner, but you pull from the middle because this has a ton of silk screen, so you don't want to stretch it. And you just pull it right off. Oh, this is adorable. You take your transfer. Now I have a water bath off camera that you can't see. All it is is a dish tub with water in it. Plain old everyday tap water and I just stick my transfer right in my water bath. This is so stinking cute. All right, now I'm gonna just give it a quick dry because it's a lot of chalk, and I will stick my finger in it if I don't give it a quick dry. It's chalk, so it dries very quickly. You can simply set it aside, and in five minutes it's gonna be dry. I'm just, for TV land, speeding up the process. And voila. We have a super cute project. 
a really pretty cute little piece of home decor. Just like that. So we have house plus love equals home on one side. And we have home is my happy place with a cute little bow on the other side. So it is double sided, so you can hang it and have both sides. But it's also nice to do something seasonally, two different holidays on both sides. So Halloween on one side, Thanksgiving on the other side. Halloween on one side, Christmas on the other side. Depends on, you know, how many holidays you decorate for. So this is a good example of a board that's double sided that you can reuse over. And I got a little chalk paste on there. You can reuse your board over and over again. So I could start here for the summer and then... September hits and now I want to put some pumpkins or I want to do my cute little come and sit a spell. I can just wash this right off and it comes right off and then I can stick this right on my board and this is a $10 chalkboard so I don't have this huge investment in a chalkboard but yet it gives me that opportunity to very creatively, seasonally change a piece of home decor in my house. So this is our adorable little project the evening which it would help if I held it so here let's do this so here he is house plus love equals home is on one side home is my happy place is on the other isn't this adorable so this is one of the workshops that we have coming up Ta -da! so this is project number one for the evening I'm gonna set this aside we are making more than one projects bonus Yes, you guys didn't know that, did you? So we're going to basically redo the same thing. So for those of you who, you know, have watched me for 20 minutes and have appreciated this, but, you know, time to go. Thank you for watching me, <laughs> but I'm going to keep going. <laughs> so if you need to sign off, go ahead. But we are going to make two more projects this evening on our cute little chalkboards. Now we're going to get into some colors. So now we're basically starting all over. I think we're going to use colors. We might use white. I love the white on the black. I think the white on the black. Acorns. Acorns. What do you mean, Daddy? Acorns. Hey, Jan. Welcome to our chalking party. Debbie, what do you mean, acorns? Talk to me, babe. Is there a transfer with acorns on it? The big boy worked great. I know, didn't he? He is one of my faves. I love this one. He just doesn't get to come out to play very often. Oh, you can't see that, but... You know, he, I really wish he would get to come out more. But you need a lot of silk screen or a big project for him. That's really what he's made for. So we're going to make another boutique board. And I'm going to take my plastic off of him. And he does come with this really cute little piece of uh, jute or twine. It's not really twine. It's probably too thick to be twine. I would say it's, it's jute. So that he comes with this so that you can hang him. Don't mind the chalk on my fingers. I'm going to pull off the plastic and we are going to, we're going to do Halloween, come and sit a spell on one side and then we're going to do let our lives be full of thanks and giving. So this, you know, could be a Thanksgiving transfer if you wanted it to be, but I really think that this is a transfer that we could really have up all year, right? Because we should always be thankful and giving all the time. Whew, if only that was the case in the world, right? But it's not always. Acorns was supposed to be adorbs. <laughs> you got autocorrected. <laughs> Adorable. Laugh out loud. My brain is fried from the lovely heat. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it hot in Texas, Debbie? Hmm. It's hot in Wisconsin, too. It's not super hot in Wisconsin. I think it was only 85 today. Um, you're probably in the hundreds, if I was guessing. Okay, so we are going to do Come Sit a Spell. And because I'm doing these projects for worksheet, not workshops, I mean, normally I would go, probably go a little crazy with colors. But for first-time chalkers, I really try to not do more than two colors. So I was thinking that we could do this in orange peel, which is your basic everyday orange. We could do orange and white. But I was thinking we might want to do orange and uh, almond. I was going to say fawn. That's the old color. This is almond is the new cream.
cream, I guess. But maybe we'll do almond and pa uh, papaya on the other side for the Thanksgiving one. And we'll do orange peel and white. So it'll show you the differences in kind of the color families. So we're going to do the same exact process. I'm going to take the transfer. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to write back on it. Oops. I can write back or I, I can write the name of the transfer, which is Sit a Spell. I'm gonna take my transfer, lay it face down. The heat index is still 99 at 9.30 at night. Holy cow, that is so my weather. Oh, I need to live in Texas, ladies. My bathrobe is still wrapped all around me because I'm freezing down in my basement. Okay, so I've got my transfer sticky side up and I'm gonna fuzz it. I'm just gonna stick it to my towel and pull the lint off. Just makes my transfer a little less sticky, so it doesn't have to work so hard. It seems counterintuitive that you would put fuzz on a transfer that's sticky, because you'd want it to stay sticky, right? So why the heck would you put fuzz on it? But what happens is when you go to wash your transfer, all the fuzz comes off in the water. So it doesn't stay on the transfer. And it makes your, see like this, I didn't fuzz this enough. So now when I go to set it down, it wants to stick right away. Where if I fuzz it more, I have a little more wiggle room. Okay, so I'm just gonna set her down. And I think, see now, what I would probably do if this wasn't for a workshop and first time chalkers, well, maybe I wouldn't. I think we'll do the orange hat. I know, what do you guys think? I do need to move to Texas, you're right, Jan. It'd be so much fun to live closer. Although, uh, I gotta say, we have a pretty nice little chalking community going here in Wisconsin, too. Okay, so I'm just gonna push all my letters down. I could do come in and sit a spell in orange and everything else in white. Or I could do this in white and everything else in orange. I think we'll do that. We'll do the words in white and everything else in orange peel. I'm just gonna, while you guys... Hey, Melissa, welcome from Canada. Okay, so I'm... I don't know why I closed up my white, but we are going to stir up our fun colors and get them ready. Melissa, we are making some fun projects for examples for workshops that I have coming up. And we're doing a two-sided boutique board. We're doing Thanksgiving on one side and Halloween on the other. Because ladies and gentlemen, it is time to start thinking about our holiday decor. Now I realize it is only August and yes, I'm be thankful I'm not talking Christmas yet. <laughs> But I am talking Thanksgiving and I am talking Halloween because if you're going to make something, it's time to get busy. We don't have time to wait. Noop, 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 noop. Because all of a sudden you get to October 1st and you're like, huh, I was going to make that and I didn't make it. So it's time to get busy, ladies and gentlemen. Time to start thinking about it. Okay. So let's get going. We are going to use different squeegees this time because it's not all one big screen. So we are going to use our mini squeegee to do our little words in white. And we're gonna use our small squeegee to do everything else in orange. The little, and we could even use, ooh, Linda, Linda, you are right. I could ombre it. Hmm, Linda, Linda, look at you go, girl. You fancy chalker lady, you. I could ombre it, mm-hmm. I could ombre. Oof. That would probably, that's easier for first time chalkers, ombre. Let's ombre, what the heck? I'm going with Linda Linda. Thanks Linda Linda. Okay, we're gonna ombre. So what's ombre? Well, ombre is uh, coloring, right? Where you start with a lighter cut light and it gets darker as you go. We'll try it. If we don't like it, it's chalk. We wash it off, right? It's not a lifelong commitment. We're not solving world hunger here. We are merely chalking a chalkboard. So if we don't like it, we wash it off. So we're gonna start with white. So I'm going to dollop my white on my board. I'm just gonna go right on my board. Because we're gonna do white. And we're only gonna chalk it to the middle. And then when we get to the middle, we're gonna swirl. We're gonna do orange on the bottom. It's a very pretty bright orange. It's called orange peel. It's a beautiful color. I'm just kind of dolloping it down. 
Now what's going to happen is I'm going to create a new color. Oh, Melissa said hot mess. Um, I thought about hot mess, Melissa, but I think it it's, would be too much camouflage looking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my small squeegee. My squeegee has two very different sides to it. It has an angled side and a flat side. The angled side is the front of the squeegee, so that's the side I'm going to put down on the chalk. I'm going to put my fingers towards the top, so I'm going to basically almost cover up the whole back of the squeegee with my fingers. That is what gives me my good resistance. If I don't do that when I go to squeegee, I get wobbly. Okay, I'm looking for steady. That's what helps me not have too much chalk left on my project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my squeegee down. I hold my squeegee straight up and down. And I'm just going to go towards the middle. And when I get to the middle, I'm going to leave a line of chalk so that I have some chalk to swirl. Okay, But I need to get all my lines out. This is what I talk about when I say when you get a, use a smaller squeegee, you end up with lines. I need to get more chalk over here. So I'm just smoothing out the top part to get rid of my lines and then leaving all this excess chalk towards the edge. So this is the white part. Take my squeegee and I wipe it off quick so I can just keep reusing the same squeegee. Then what I'm gonna do is the same exact thing on the orange only I'm going to push the orange towards the white. And again, I'm going to leave a line. Okay, that's so I have something, I have some extra, so I'm going to put it right back in my container. That's so I have something to squeegee. Okay, then, set that aside, I take my finger. It is sometimes helpful if your finger's a little damp. It doesn't need, don't want it wet. I just want it a little damp. Okay, so just touch it in the water, because this is a big space here, and I'm going to go back and forth with the white and the orange, and this is going to create a new color. I'm just going to mix them up so it will be lighter. Now, I do have to move relatively quickly because my chalk is drying, and I can see my chalk drying. So I want to swirl away with my lighter color, okay? And I have a lot of chalk on here again. So I am going to squeegee this off and take this and put it right on my wipe. I can't put it back in my container because it is its own color. And it will contaminate my color if I do that. Okay, so now I don't like that there's not enough orange here. So I'm just going to swirl in a little more orange. There we go. So now it's more stark. Not so stark. Okay. And I'm going to pull my transfer off because I can see that my transfer is drying. Chalk dries super fast. So I'm going to start it in the corner, pull it from the middle. Ooh, good call, Linda, Linda. <gasps> Linda, Linda, you are a chalk and rock star. Hello. Linda. Perfect. Oh my gosh. It's really kind of cool. Okay, so I just stick my transfer in my water bath. Dry my hand off because now my hand's all wet. That is cute. Okay, so and I did get a little chalk where I didn't want it. And again, it washes right off. So I'm not worried about it. Okay, so I'm going to dry it. It'll be easier for you to see when it's dry because the colors. Lose the sheen. Hey, Lisa Elliott. Welcome to our talking party. We are talking in-home workshops and virtual workshops tonight, Linda. Or Lisa, sorry. Linda, Linda. I glanced up Linda, Linda. Hey, Mary. Welcome. Okay. So, this is our really cute one side of our sign. I have some fun orange ribbon that we could put through similar to what we did here, right? Where we did our bow and then we had it on the other side. Um, we can do that again. The only problem with this board and both transfers that we're using is 
This one, our, our sentiment was lower, so we had room for the bow. These guys, with both transfers, this one and the one we're about to do on it, we don't have that same luxury of having that kind of space. So we're going to have to, I want to make sure it's dry before I flip it over, because we are going to flip it over and do the other side right away. But you guys, good choice, Linda, with doing the ombre. Chalk dries so fast. Okay, so here's our cute little, let me give you the good angle. Come in and sit a spell. So this is our Halloween side. Now, let's do our Thanksgiving side. Where'd I put the transfer? <laughs> I'm throwing things around tonight now. And I have stuff everywhere. So our next one is Thanksgiving. So we're going to use the same color family, only we're going to go in more of an off color. So our next ones are going to be papaya, which is a very nice, like, pumpkin pie color. Oops. Hmm. Oh, that's because I have one open. Like, I know we've used papaya. All right, so we've got, it's a really nice rusty orange. So. The last project was orange peel, so it's a much brighter orange. Now we're going to use a more rusty orange. And instead of using our stark white, we're going to use almond, which is just a very pretty off-white. Um, for some reason, Thanksgiving to me is more muted colors. I don't know why, but it is. I need to wash off my squeegee. I have ribbon everywhere. They're falling at me everywhere. <laughs> Because I just, I couldn't decide what kind of ribbon we should put on. Could not decide. Okay, so I wipe off my squeegee. So I know I keep saying that this is for our workshops. And, um, what we're going to do is, many of you have been asking me to either come. I think I put it on the wrong lid. Melissa? Oh, Melissa! <laughs> See, Melissa! All the way from Canada, you are helping me out. Thank you, Melissa. You're right. I did put on the wrong lid. <laughs> what would I do without you guys? Okay, so I'm a hot mess all the time, right? You all know that. And I've got chalk all over my new pretty mat. This is our new chalk couture mat, so I want to keep it nice. And it helps if I don't have chalk on my rag that I'm also trying to wipe it off with. Ooh, it did come right off. Wow. Okay, I'm going to like this mat, I can tell. Okay, so on this side of the board, so we have come in and set a spell on one side, and we're going to do let our lives be full of thanks and giving on the other side. Same thing. I have my transfer in its plastic. I pull up the tab. Do not cut your transfer. Everybody tries to cut it. You don't need to cut it. It has a flap. It has a flap for a reason, because you're going to store your transfer back in the plastic. So if you cut it, you, you can't close it up. So you take it off and you write on here, thanks and giving is the name of this transfer. And I do that again so that I know which side of my transfer is the back of my transfer. So when I go to store it and put it back on the backer sheet, I know that I'm putting it on the correct side. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa. <laughs> All the way from Canada. Oops, and I have chalk up here. I got chalk everywhere today. So I'm just gonna see, I got some chalk up here. Just need to get this washed off. Oops, don't stick that on your transfer. Okay, so I need to fuzz again. And again, I washed today laundry. So all my fuzzing stuff is upstairs. So I'm just gonna take my towel, stick my transfer to the towel, and just picking up the lint. This just makes it so my transfer doesn't have to work as hard when I go to pull it off. Super simple and easy to do. So if you want to do an in-home workshop, because I know many of you have asked me to do them, um, you just have to get your friends together, and then I pretty much do everything else. You get them together, and I show up, and we make projects. If you want to do it virtually, it's pretty much the same process, except I just mail the transfers out. So, um, Or if you're local, you can still pick them up. The nice thing about doing them virtually is you don't have to clean your house. And everybody can talk in their pajamas with a glass of wine. <laughs> but yeah, you can still all talk to each other because we do it virtually. Um, so you can still all talk to each other, but 
you can be in your comfy clothes <laughs> with your glass of wine. Okay, so I keep checking the other side of my project because I want to make sure I'm not, you know, don't have any water on here. So on this one, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do almond, let our lives be full of thanks in uh, papaya and in almond, giving in papaya, and then our really pretty little leaves, we're going to do back in papaya. I don't want to do a technique with this one um, because I think this is a classic saying, so I want to go with more of a classic form of chalking, if that makes sense. So I just stir up my chalk. Again, I want it to be yogurt, sour cream-like consistency. They're both in beautiful shape right out of the gate. I actually taught two classes this week already, and uh, we used both these colors already this week. So they're in really good shape. So we're going to do everything to here and. Now why am I doing that? Why do I care, right? Why am I talking out loud other than you guys are watching me? <laughs> if you were doing this, you would not be talking out loud. <laughs> You'd be thinking in your head. <laughs> How do I want to do this and in what way do I want to do it? You do that because once you start putting chalk on your project, it dries super fast. So I want thought out and ready to go what I'm doing where. Because once I start going, I don't want to say, oh, okay, I'm going to do this in this color and then, hmm, what should I do while I have chalk on my project because my chalk is drying and if it dries when I go to pull it up it comes with my transfer and it ruins my beautiful project I have to wash my transfer off and start all over so you just want to be conscious of time when you chalk so before I ever touch chalk to my project I have thought out what colors am I using they're all stirred and ready to go I know what colors I'm doing where and which squeegees, oh, the squeegee is dirty, which squeegees I'm using. So I have it all thought out. So I am ready to go. There's no questions. There's no thinking time. It's just get that chalk down and go. Because once I go, I want to focus like a laser beam. So I'm going to start with our fawn, which is a very, very pretty cream color. Again, super classic. And I have a big old fuzzy on the back of it. So again, I'm just going straight across. That's how easy this is. I'm holding my squeegee with my fingers towards the end. I have the angled part to the front. And look at how quickly we can make this adorable little sign. Truly, I think sometimes with these types of signs, the hardest thing is picking your colors and knowing what you're gonna do where. That's what takes the most time. Otherwise, it's really quick and easy to go. So then I'm going to do giving in papaya and thanks. Put all that excess right back in my squeegee. Make sure I don't have any lines. I want to oh, see. This is what I mean by lines. See how I you can see that chalk line through lines. I need to smooth that out. Otherwise, when I go to pull off my transfer, I'll see that. So now I start it in the corner, but I don't pull diagonally, so I'll stretch my transfer. I pull it from the middle, and I pull it straight up and down. I don't pull it towards me. I just pull it straight up and down. It comes right off. Okay, this is cute. Now you'll be able to see it here in just a second. As soon as it's dry um, and it loses the sheen, you'll be able to see the colors. But when it's wet, it's hard for you guys to see the colors. colors actually change a little bit. Hey, Tammy. Oh my goodness, Tammy. We haven't seen from you in a long time. Is this transfer too big to put on a kitchen towel? This transfer, Tammy? I'll show you. Hang on. Okay. Oh my. Look at how cute that is. Let our lives be full of thanks and giving. So we have Halloween on one side. We have let our lives be full of thanks and giving. So we have Thanksgiving on the other side. Now you could totally use the twine that comes with it. And it would be pretty with the twine. Let me get this out and I'll show you. You know, you could just stick this through. And you could do it in a myriad of ways. 
No, you could put it this way. Yeah, it's kind of too close to the top that way. But you could do it this way as one option. You know, and hang it. And then you'd have it this way on one side and this way on another. That's one way. You could tie it, go, take it through and put a knot. My little juke guy wants to come undone. You know, just tie a knot on this side and then flip it over and put it through and tie a knot. But I like to jazz them up. I like the twine, but it's not my fave because I think while the twine is pretty, I think these ribbons, they just totally make the board pop, right? And they jazz it up. And I think you could totally do black and white buffalo plaid. But you all know me <laughs> all too well. <laughs> and I do this ribbon on pretty much everything because it's my favorite. And it's my go-to because I absolutely love it with the boards. Love it with the boards. So, ha, huh, I can, you know, expand my horizons. It's hard. Full disclosure, it's hard for me to expand my horizons, but I can do it. <laughs> so you could do, oh my gosh, it's almost like it. <laughs> Don't you love how much I expanded my horizons? <laughs> you could do orange and black plaid. Okay, it's really not enough, right, Lisa? Totally ribbon. So this is one option. Look at how pretty this one is. Now, I don't like it so much with this side, but I love it with this side because it totally goes with the colors. And because you're flipping it around seasonally, you could totally change the ribbon. Do one color for Halloween and one color for Thanksgiving. You don't have to keep the ribbon, you know. Don't feel like, you know, you gotta own the ribbon forever. Now, again, ooh, look. I am so going outside of my comfort zone. <laughs> oh, it's buffalo plaid with cream and pumpkin pie. Hmm. I'm trying to get it to focus for you. There we go. Again, not too different, but it would be super cute. I mean, look at how cute this one is. Look at how cute that is with our cute little board. You could tie it in a bow. I mean, you have a lot of creative options as to what you do with ribbons. I also got some really fun, I got these today, some really fun little just cream colored ones or you know again more along the jute line. Um, these two could go together. This is more of a maroon and I think again this works for our Thanksgiving side. For a Halloween side I think you gotta go orange and you probably gotta go classic orange in this. You could even do these together. You could do purple. You could do green. I mean, possibilities are endless. These types of ribbons are just starting to come out in the stores, so I don't have as many options yet. But, I gotta say this side's my favorite. Let her, I just, I think this is so pretty. And then we've got come sit a spell. So let's, I'm gonna focus on this side because this is my favorite side. Let's put some ribbon in here. This one does not have enough to do. And I let's try this one. I think this one might be a little too wide to go through our holes. But we're going to try it anyway. And we're going to see. It's probably way too wide to go through our holes. But what I would do with this one again, because it has that, um, oh, it's not too wide. I would probably just tie it in a knot on this side. So I'm just tying it. Because again, I'm gonna change the ribbon based on the side. So when it's Halloween, I'm gonna take the I'm gonna put a Halloween ribbon in it. But when it's Thanksgiving, I'm gonna put a Thanksgiving ribbon in it. <gasps> I'm gonna use my transfer trimmers. Don't tell my mother. <laughs> we were talking about this the other night for those of you who weren't here. You know how you had that scissors? that your mother had, the, her fabric scissors that you were never ever allowed to touch for any reason because they were her fabric scissors. Yeah, well that's my transfer trimmers. Transfer scissors. <laughs> They're transfer trimmers. They're only for transfer trimming. I don't ever use them for anything else except don't pretend like you did not see me just use them for something else because I didn't do it. I won't, I won't tell. Okay, so again, I'm gonna stick this through here. And you could put a bow on here because was that you, Debbie posted a bow earlier. A super easy bow that you made with a zip tie 
I'm gonna practice with that bow. We're gonna make those bows. I'll show you how to do it. This has wire in it, so it's hard to get through the hole. It doesn't wanna go. So I'm gonna continue to make it smaller. Get it in there. So when you're thinking workshop, you get to pick your transfers. So you don't have to do these. There's obviously way more transfer choices. Um, but these are just some of the options that you could pick. And I made this ribbon way too long. You know, I'm just going to tie it on the back so that it holds it. I can cut those off because I have too much ribbon. And you've got a cute little sign. Now I'd probably put a bow. He needs a little something, don't you think? He needs a bow. Let's go this way. Because you can't really see all the fun colors of the ribbon. So I'd probably put a bow on him. And you could do a bow with this, you know. We could do our, so, oh, you can't see, sorry. So, an easy way to make a bow is you do, my friend Sage taught me this, you take a bow and you make something very similar to the cancer ribbon, and you pull it down like this, and look at how easy this is. Let's, okay. This way with it okay so you do this oh you cut it again but I'm not going to use my transfer trimmers because I swear you're not supposed to use your transfer trimmers you can totally use your transfer trimmers it's just me okay so you you just make the bow like this I'm gonna make them a little bit bigger and then we're gonna use a fun color so this is kind of that burgundy Awesome, super easy bows. Sheer brilliance. Yes, that bow that you showed me today, Debbie, with the zip tie, totally brilliant. The only thing, I watched it several times. I couldn't quite figure out how he was um, doing the loops a little bit. Because he was, he, they weren't just loops. He was making some of them shorter. Okay, so you make your cancer, so let me back up here. You make your cancer ribbon. You pull it down together. Then you take your middle piece, and I chose to use a different color ribbon. You flip it over, and I'm just going to tie it. Tie it tight, as tight as you can get it. Okay? And I left a tail so I can tie it on. And now we have this really cute little bow that I can tie right here to my other ribbon. And then I'm going to cut my tails to make them shorter because they're too they're too long at the moment. <laughs> Very much. Oop, I need to cover up my face. Okay. Okay. So now I have it on here. Now he's probably too big, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tail of my ribbon and I'm going to cut it. Oop, my hands are frozen. Hello. I'm hoping you guys are still there. My hands froze. Okay, I'm gonna keep going because you, you get my my mouth is moving, but my hands are gone. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm just going to cut it to give myself the fancy little tail. Okay, because again, he's too big. You gotta make him smaller. And again, same thing. I just fold it in half and I cut it at an angle, which gives me my fancy little kite tails. And hide the orange. Got to cut the orange guy off the back. So I should make him smaller. But it kind of gives you, it gives you the idea that you could totally put a cute little bow. Obviously, you don't want to cover up the let. So you could put the bow up higher, too. You, know, you could tie the bow in the middle of this as well, which is probably our best bet so that um, we don't cover up the words. Let's try that. Cutting ribbon. Okay, I'm gonna hold them up for you. 
So this is one option of a bow if you wanted to, you know, give it a little more zhuzhing. It's up to you if you want to do that or not. It's kind of cute with the bow up on top. I don't mind the bow up on top. You know, on the other one, I prefer the bow in the middle, but that, again, our transfer went lower, so it was way easier to do. This is really cute. Now, on the other side, our ribbon really doesn't match. So you would totally have to, oh, sorry, I forgot I took, I took you down. You know, I cut these off. You, you could, in theory, use it, but it doesn't really match. In full disclosure, it doesn't really match. So you just kind of zhuzh up our little ribbon here, guy. And we have a cute, I'm going to cut these orange guys off because we got them on now. So you don't have those little orange tails hanging down. And voila. A cute, cute sign. So this is our workshop sign. So if you're interested in hosting one, either virtually or in person, let me know. And I will uh, get you the details and the dates. I have uh, one date left in September, and I think I have two dates in October. I don't have a lot of dates left, because you ladies want to do workshops, I can tell. <laughs> so, where'd our black and white one go? Oh, here we go. So, we have two very nice, so th this is the differences in the bow, right? One's up on top, one's on the bottom. Difference being, um, this transfer was lower, so it, we had more room to bring our bow down. Actually, here, let's move you over so you can see the whole shebangy. A ribbon everywhere. So, these are cute little projects. I'm Megan Maria. I'm your independent chalk couture designer. This is our boutique board, which is a $10 board, $9.99 to be exact. Um, our give it, thanks and giving transfer is on one side. Our come and sit a spell is on the other. Home is my happy place. And house plus love equals home is on the other side. So for our $10 chalkboard and our $15 transfer, we can have a lot of fun. So these are two adorable little signs. Let me know. If you have any questions, I am Mika Maria, your independent chalk couture designer. If you have enjoyed this, if you could please send my video out into the Facebook world, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. It helps me tremendously. And tomorrow is Thankful Thursday. And when it's Thankful Thursday, we make a project. And when our uh, demonstration gets sent out into the Facebook world uh, at least 10 times, then we give away stuff and we play a fun game. Anybody can play. Um, it's just a fun game that we play, and we either give away the project that we're making, or I give away things I can't talk about in this forum. I can, however, talk about them in the Making Maria VIP group. And the Making Maria VIP group is where I do specials, I do bundles, I do uh, fun events that I don't do out here in the public. So if you're not currently in the Making Maria VIP group, you want to be, because it's so much fun and it's worth it. And it's just, you know, I don't spam you, I'm not crazy. It's basically the stuff I put out here and then extra stuff. Um, but if you're not in there and you want to comment, add me in the comments. I would be more than happy to send you the link so that you can join that group. If you are interested in our little hedgehog guy or being part of the Club Couture, so our little hedgehog guy is the guy we made yesterday. And I decided today he's a kind of a cute, almost like a little guinea pig guy too. So if you got guinea pig lovers out there, you could skip the looking sharp and just do a little guinea pig guy. Um, Club Couture is a monthly subscription service where for $19.99 you get a uh, transfer and three paste packets delivered to your home like magic. And it's guaranteed half an hour of crafting fun. So if you want information about the club, let me know. And lastly, if you're curious and want to see any of these products, you can do that by going to www.chalkcouture.com slash Maria. And you can see everything that I'm using here, obviously with the exception of the ribbon. Um... But you can see everything that I'm using and uh, check it all out. So, that's all I got for you tonight, ladies. Thank you for sticking with me for three projects. Oh my gosh, we never do three projects. <laughs> we always do one. But I appreciate you um, being with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, have a lovely night. I'll be back at you tomorrow night for Thankful Thursday at 9 o'clock Central Standard Time. I'm Megan Maria. Have a great night. See you, ladies and gentlemen.